wow, I can't believe I'm doing this again. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Matilda. Um, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my vlog. This is so exciting. I haven't really put any content on YouTube for probably like five or six years. Um, I used to make vlogs and videos when I was in high school. I, it wasn't a very big channel, but it was just something I did to like fill my time. And while I am a huge fan of short form content, I feel like it's not a very accurate representation of a person. So as someone who likes sharing her life, I guess, online and like a little bit about what I do and what goes on in my life, I figured long form was the best way to go. So I guess just for context, a little bit about me, I'm 26 years old. I'm living in Dallas, Texas. I work a full-time job, but I'm also a portrait photographer. Um, I mostly shoot on the weekends. Um, and then the weekdays are kind of for me to like edit and do a lot of admin stuff, X, Y, Z. I recently added a blog to my photography site. So that's very much just like photo content. So it's like long form for me to share photography content, just like my process and behind the scenes and how I got to this place. And um, one of my most recent posts is how my work used to look and how my work looks now and it's so different. But I feel like it's not a very good representation of me as a whole, as a person. So I figured maybe vlogging would kind of help fill in those blanks for you. Um, anyway, I'm late for work actually. So let me go ahead and order my Starbucks. I am ordering the cafe latte with hazelnut. Um, three shots of espresso. Let's do two. Let's actually get it in the grande. Got my coffee ordered and I'm late for work. So we gotta go. I'm also low on gas, but I don't know if I'll have time for that. Honestly, me, vlogging and driving, not the best combo. Like, not only is there just like never a good place to put the camera in the car, and I know people have, I have like a sticky pad on my, on my dash that I'm like using, but I mean, there's really no good, <laughs> there's really no good place to put this. For those of you who are interested at all, uh, my setup is a Sony Alpha 5000 with a 16 millimeter 2.8 lens. I know everyone's like a Sony ZV-E10 or usually like a Canon uh, G7X person. Um, I already had this lying around, so I didn't feel the need to spend 800 to 1000 on a new camera. Uh, my concern is the lens because I bought this lens probably like four years ago I bought it used from someone on Facebook marketplace believe it or not um, Because when I started my photography career, I actually started shooting with this camera. I had um, a regular like the 16 to 16 to 50 um, 3.5 to 6 point something like the, the standard like lens that comes with the camera and then I bought a Sigma 60 millimeter 2.8 lens not realizing like the length different, but I loved that lens because I loved how crisp and sharp everything looked. And then I wanted something with a little bit more wider of an angle or just to keep it at that 16. So I'm trying to figure out if I like 16 or if not, I'll splurge and buy the 11 millimeter. Also what I really love to be able to do is lower the aperture. Can't really do on here. It goes as low as 2.8, which is fine, I think. Um, but if I buy a new lens, um, I'll definitely take you guys with me. If you're interested in what I do at my nine to five, I am the data entry team lead at a law firm here in Dallas. And that's pretty much all I can tell you without like breaking confidentiality. So that's really all you're going to get. My issue is also that I am such a manual girly as a photographer. I set everything to manual. So now I'm looking at the screen and I'm like, oh my God, my, the, the white balance is off because it's way too cool toned, I think. You know what's crazy is this summer has probably been the hottest summer ever. And I'm seeing that as a girl who was born and raised in Singapore. Again, a little bit more about me. <laughs> my dad is white and my mom is Malay. So we are from Singapore. I was born and raised there. Pretty much the first 16 years of my life, I've been, I was in Singapore and then we moved to Texas about 10 years ago. Um, I lived in Houston, I went to high school and then I came up here to Dallas for college. Then COVID happened and I've pretty much just been here ever since. So that's like the rundown of the timeline of my life. But 
oh my god i lived in singapore where is it's like on the equator the humidity is insane and yet the texas summer is what's brutal to me well guys i just got to work and it is so bright and hot and annoying yeah i'm usually at work for about 10 hours and i take like a 30 minute lunch um i usually have a ton of stuff to do so it's kind of gonna be my day uh, i can't really film inside i might be able to film like in my office with the door closed i'll see you guys in a bit dance i'm on my lunch break um i shut the door to my office so i could have a little bit of privacy i thought i'd show you guys my lunch I've got some QP mayo rice with some peanut chicken and I topped it with extra QP mayo so it's what we had for dinner last night and that's usually what I take for lunch every day. I usually take my lunch pretty late around like actually this is considered early for me usually I take it around like two-ish I think. I figure I'm gonna get some admin stuff done for my business um, while I'm on my lunch anyway. Oh I'm home now and it's so freaking hot. Um, Usually, when I come home, I have to take everything off and like feel like a human again. I don't know if you can tell, but like I'm a little red. My hair looks a little greasy, so I'm just gonna give it a little dry shampoo action. This is the Ava NYC Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo. It does leave a little bit of a white cast, but it kind of goes away once you like shake it into your hair. I generally only ever wear my hair up when I'm at home unless it's like freshly plain. I'm gonna make dinner and I took out some ground beef this morning so it should be nice and defrosted. I think I'm gonna make like my version of lasagna soup because I think I make a pretty good lasagna soup if I do say so myself. I'm gonna make that. I have a package to unbox and let's see if we can get some footage of Misal. I didn't tell him I started vlogging, so we'll see how that goes. But the nice part about being home is I can immediately mount this camera on my tripod. I know, I think I, it's because I'm a photographer, I'm very like, the angles, the lighting, the composition, and it's all very, I'm just like that, I'm sorry. And then I also realized that this camera doesn't have a hot shoe mount, so if I wanted to hook up like a microphone, I have to get like a rig for it to hook up a microphone because I have to get a rig with a cold shoe mount or something like that. I don't know.
Lisa likes to toss his food whenever there's a bowl involved, there is a toss. Whenever there's a plate involved, there's a toss. <laughs> just about an evenness, you know. Why oh, is this feta cheese or what is it? It's uh, mozzarella. 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 <laughs> I just like the tiny balls. I poured it in when it was like hot so it might break down. Gotcha. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put my hair tie on. I made this garlic bread with the char gluten-free baguettes. Um, Misal is gluten intolerant, so we try to eat mostly gluten-free. I would say this household is maybe like 85-90% gluten-free. Oh boy! Oh, got away from me. He made a mad dash to get under the bed. He, he was like halfway under the bed. And then I got his ass. Nah, don't come to me now. <laughs> Trying to rub up on me and shit. Nah. What's your rating? Mmm. 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 I'm not gonna give it. I have to give it like a 10. What? No, do I have to give it a 10? No, no. Uh, you don't have to give it a 10. I'm a 10. Whatever is your most favorite that hits every time is a 10. Mm -hmm. And then rank the others accordingly. Rank the others. Okay, so I think a, uh, a 7. Okay. A 7. Like, I like the cheese, I like the texture, but I think, I don't know, it just it seems like in the soup, maybe. I like, feel like you're just not a big soup person. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think it, it just doesn't hit me with flavor. I think I like being hit with flavor. Like, mm, like the lemon soup? Like the lemon yeah, soup. Yeah, I feel like the lemon soup hits better. The peanut food. sauce, like all those, like very, like. Yeah, but sauce is like a soup. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, it's like one of those weird things like lasagna isn't supposed to be spicy. <laughs> you know? And it's just supposed to be cheesy, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like meaty, saucy, and cheesy. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's very easy to turn into like a soup form. Mm. Like the bread is really good. Mm. I made more so we'll have some for lunch. Mm. I'm like too lazy to set up any like lighting right now because it's way too late in the day. We do have a ring light. It's just not in the best place and I really want to move it to set it up by the desk so that I can mount the tripod over there and like record over there. Um, but Visao mainly uses the ring light for his, um, he sells Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, he has a business selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards on eBay. So that's mainly, it's his ring light. I just would love to borrow. <laughs> but um, I'm in the office right now, which is nice because it's like not echoey, I don't think. Um, stay tuned to find out though. But yeah, I'm here. Um, let's unbox this or let's unpack this, open this, whatever. I got some, I got some of Kenzie Elizabeth's March because I love support a creator. Um, and also, lately my uniform has just been kind of like super large t shirts with like pajama pants or like biker shorts. So, yeah. Um, I would like to also preface this by saying I am not a Texas girly whatsoever. I am not like, yay, Texas! I'm not that girl. Um, I have lived here like 10 years. Um, and I actually just don't really even own anything that says Texas, which is hilarious. Um, so I decided to buy Kenzie Elizabeth's March because it's cute stuff that says Texas on it. And here's the back. This is the, this is the Texas Forever shirt and it's super cute. Um, oh my god, my battery is dying. I just ordered spare batteries because I realized I don't have spares for this camera. Um, and then this is the Find Me in Texas shirt, I think. Yeah, see, this is cute. It's got, like, the little, and it's cute. The fonts are cute. She just has cute merch, okay? Like, I'm a fan. I'm not a Texas girly. I just like that it's cute, so... I'm also going back to Singapore in November for like three weeks. Whatever I wear in like the summer currently is gonna be whatever my wardrobe is 
when I go to Singapore. So I was like, I need to rack some stuff up. Good morning. It's Thursday. I am on my way to work. Okay. Let's, let's chill out. I like imported all my footage from yesterday. So I'm curious to see, look, this is the, this is this stuff like no one ever tells you, but like, <laughs> I'm curious to see how the footage looks um, because I just haven't used this camera in a long time. And to be quite honest, I tried to start vlogging about maybe like a year ago, the day that I started filming, like literally last year, the day that I started filming, it was like in October, I had something to film and I was like, okay, I'm gonna start vlogging, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And I started filming because I was actually getting rid of my old car and getting a new car. And <laughs> it was literally the day that I received my new car. I came back inside after like recording, like getting a new car and everything. And I don't even think I have the footage anymore. I think I cleared it out because I was like, I this might be bad juju. Maybe it's why bad things keep happening to me is because <laughs> I keep holding on to bad things that happen to me. Like five minutes after I got back into my apartment and I started filming, the SWAT team came. <laughs> the SWAT team came to my apartment complex. They were like banging down the door of one of my downstairs neighbors. I have a theory as to why, but I'll never really know. Ever since that day, I was just like, oh my God, I'm freaked out. I don't want to like record and only have like tragic things happen to me. And I get that maybe that's not like a completely realistic day, but that's how I felt at the moment. And I was like, you know what? It's just not gonna happen. Okay, I picked up my coffee. I got the ice shaken toasted vanilla, iced toasted vanilla shaken espresso. I don't know. I don't usually get an iced drink, but it is so freaking hot. So I get to do this. I'm about to eat my lunch and I was like, damn, I'm wearing a white shirt. Guess what my solution is for making sure I don't spill on my white shirt. This is my office puffer jacket. I'm literally just going to wear it backwards. I'm like a, I'm like a toddler. Um, this is like a wearable bib. I brought another, uh, I brought some of the lasagna soup that I made last yesterday. And I was like, damn, I'm really not trying to spill because I definitely overfilled this. Hey guys, I'm off of work. It's been a long day and it's 102 degrees in my car. I am going home now. I'm gonna go make some dinner and probably edit a little bit more of this vlog. I'm trying to consolidate my purses because I'm having like a purse dilemma and ideally I would not like to buy a new purse, but I'm thinking of the new one that I might wanna buy because I have been looking at it for a while. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna make some dinner and then um, I'll see you guys in a bit.
so tired. This is, I made some hazelnut Nutella gelato. Um, I get the Sprouts brand hazelnut gelato and then I put a couple teaspoons of Nutella in there and just kind of like mixed it up. Here is my purse dilemma. I have three and I'm gonna tell you which one I'm looking at buying. Yes, you're allowed to call me basic, but this is the purse that I currently use. I have the 14 inch MacBook Pro and technically it does fit, but it's very tight squeeze and like you have to pull the, the flaps that the zipper is on out in order to zip it up. So like technically it will zip it up, but you can definitely see that it's, it's, it feels a little overfilled. I work remotely on Mondays, so on Fridays I take my work laptop home and then on Tuesday I have to bring it back. So two out of the four days, no, two out of the four days I'm going into the office. I'm carrying two laptops at a time basically. So what I have been using before is this. It's the Dagny Dover tote and it fits a lot of stuff. It has a lot of great compartments. It's got like the key leash, the water bottle like section to like hold your water bottle in snugly, like so much room, literally so much room. But it's structured and like I was still kind of like if it was softer, this would not be an issue, but because it's like supposed to look like flat and like rectangular, boxy, it's not doing that anymore because this right side is kind of like bulging a bit. And also it's very heavy. This is the last bag. This is my newest bag. I traded one with my mom. Um, I love this bag. This bag, if I didn't have to carry a laptop, this bag I would take to work but I carry two laptops so I can't really I don't like going from bag to bag during the week so I've been using this bag this is my weekend like go-to bag so I'll put like see I have like a whole umbrella in here so this is like high key a Mary Poppins bag so everything that's in here fits in here without the laptops the laptop charger and the two hard drives because if I don't have I don't need that stuff, I don't have the laptops sort of deal. Everything else fits in here, like my emergency kit, my wallet, blah blah blah. I just need more room. <laughs> so I want something of the Dagny Dover size that can fill everything in here. So that on the weekends I just have to take out what I need and put it in here. Because right now I feel like I'm going between too many bags because they work at different times. Because when this started to get too heavy, I like carrying this because it's lighter. So I'm currently looking at the Longchamp La Pliage Original Tote. And if anyone has any notes, advice, opinions, please share them because I would get a lot of use out of it. It's cute. I've always wanted one. I just don't know if this is the right time to get it, but it feels like it's the right move. Guess what, I got this tripod for my camera. And you wanna know something? I cannot put it on my dashboard. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Friday. I'm having a late start to the day. It's literally 8.05 and I'm still here. So I have got to get going. Um, I'm wearing the can see Elizabeth merch the Texas Forever t-shirt um, I try to keep it simple when I go to work on Fridays I try to do like t-shirt jeans and shoes combo so I'm wearing these with my Abercrombie curve love 90s straight jean I'm loving these jeans I have two pairs I'm obsessed with them and then I'm wearing my Adidas Oswego sneakers. I don't think there's going to be very much left that I film in this vlog because I don't really have much to talk about. I don't really have much to show. I think this was just like a getting to know you type of situation. Also, yes, I am wearing eye patches on my way to work. I have fully sat in the office with eye patches for like an hour before, so this is considered mild. <laughs> I made a bunch of plans for the weekend so next vlog you'll be able to see like a weekend in my life but yeah I don't think this vlog is gonna go anywhere past this morning because I don't really have much else to film. <laughs> okay guys I just got to work I'm tightening up my ponytail I feel like I should have cleaned my hair up a little bit but 
no one's really here on Fridays because we get to take one remote day a week and um, I pick Mondays because Mondays are like a good reset day for me since I work on Sundays and I've been telling everybody I was like everybody wants a Friday off but no one talks about how great having a Monday off is and I'm just gonna dump this here I'm gonna go into work now and uh, I'm gonna start a whole new vlog for the weekend but thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so excited to go on this journey with you guys Thank you.